you crazy ass women aren't attracted to masculinity. <laughs> you guys are attracted to toxicity. <laughs> Shit, once I figured that out, my little heart never got broke again. See, the trick to women is you gotta sell them that fairy tale dream, and then once you do, you snatch that shit back like, psych! I'll give you an example. There's this girl at the gym who literally has gave me every sign you could possibly give a man to please come up, talk to me, and ask me for my number. <laughs> and I'm so fucking toxic. I've been stringing her along for like a month. Like some days I go in there and I'll smile at her and I'll stare at her back and sometimes I'll wink and she'll put her head down and smile. <laughs> and then the next day on purpose, I'll go in there and I'll completely fucking ignore her. I act like she's not even there. Like she gets tore up too. She'll be doing legs and then all of a sudden she jumps on the trial set machine beside me and I act like she's invisible. Now the next time I go in the gym and actually pay her any form of attention, even something as small as looking back at her, she's going to be excited. And when I finally ask her out, and I will ask her out, she's going to be wrapped around my fucking finger, man. Now do you think if I was like most guys and she showed me any form of attention and I just waddle my ass up there like a lost puppy looking for an owner and go, hey, would you like to go out? Do you think she would like me as much? Fuck no. I know there's going to be women in the comments saying, this is completely not true. But how many times have you women had your heart broke? And how toxic were those fucking men? You know why you got your heart broke? Because you loved them. Oh, Mr. Good Guy in your message box who sent you a message, is there anything I can do to make you feel better? <laughs> you left him on read. Let the toxic guy that fucked half your friends text and you'll be like. <laughs> how can you be my wife, my queen, my soulmate? These times, man can see your pussy for four ninety nine a month, bruv. Yeah, but Netflix is ten pounds, bruv. Yeah, but then Netflix what? is ten pounds. That means my girl's pussy is worth less than Netflix, bruv. That's mad. And I don't think that a man should be able to force a woman to have an abortion, but he should be able to walk the fuck away, cause she can walk away, cause a woman can give a baby up for uh, adoption. And guess what happens when she give a baby up for adoption? They don't ask her for child support. I don't know why people don't bring this up and say that's fucked up. A woman can literally leave a kid off in the wilderness and no one calls her a deadbeat mom. You've never heard a woman who gave her baby up uh, 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 called a deadbeat mom. As a matter of fact, they act like this bitch is some hero. I know it was difficult for you to do. It takes a real woman to do that. They actually say this. So why don't they say it to dudes who like, I ain't shit. I want to walk away. I don't even need to be in this kid's life. It takes a strong man to do that, sir. You knew you weren't shit and you recognized it. Like, they, they won't give a man that. A man has to be a father. A woman can walk the fuck off. So I just went on a cruise and my ex was just thinking about me and wanted to let me know. So here's some things that he was posting about me. Of course, I had to reply. Because if we're going to talk about it, let's make sure that we're correct. Of course, we have to take it to Instagram in case everybody needed to know that it was a ship, not a boat. Thank you. No, he wasn't happy about my reply. Point A. Point B, which I'm not too mad about because thank you. I also think that those are my two best assets. Had to throw in a little bit of jealousy. The best. And let's make sure that we end on a positive note. Just a little hope, a little prayer. Um, follow for more. This is just Cruise Edition. You guys haven't heard the craziest yet. He wanted me to get hit by a bus and slashed my tires. So follow for more. I'm all for feminism. I'm all for all the shit it brings. Equal pay, chicks become president, all that shit. But now you got to give men their shit back. Let us be men again. You don't respect us. It's in subtle ways. I found out recently my girlfriend has no respect for me in a... Casual conversation. We were talking with some buddies about UFC. We were talking about how a lot of those guys get arrested. They get in trouble for domestic violence. They beat their girlfriends and wives. And my girlfriend says to a bunch of other dudes, she goes, oh, yeah, that's why I would never want to date somebody like that. The kind of guy, like, if he just lost control, could, like, kick the shit out of you. And I was like, I could beat the shit out of you. Are you with me because you think I can't beat the shit out of you? I just don't beat the shit out of you. I could beat you up just as fast as the UFC guy. I just don't. You think I can't? And how do I prove it now? I can't beat the shit out of her because I've made it a thing. Everyone's going to know it's me. I'm how much money have you wasted on liquor today? Zero dollars? Bitch, I get all my drinks paid for. Why? Look at me. Whatever hoops or rings of fire that I got to jump through, nigga. I don't commit crime, so why I need to go to jail for a nigga that's doing it? I pay my taxes, nigga. I go home every... What? I, why I got to go to jail? Nigga, I work in the community.
So you telling me as black men, when I grow up and I grow and I develop a man's mind, I'm still beholden to street codes and laws? When I'm with my family? I'm supposed to crash out to be real? Nah, homie, I don't want to be real no more. Niggas got the niggas. I know niggas done suffer long and hard being real, nigga, and they ain't got no relief yet. Nah, I don't want to be real, homie, so I broke away early. Yeah, I want to be the working man that'll call the police on your ass, nigga. You violate my neighborhood. You breaking law, nigga. Go to jail. You bad. You bad. I ain't. You tough, nigga. So go be tough, nigga. But get away from us law-abiding citizens, nigga.